Hello again, my name's John. I'm a retired cook from the northeast of England in the UK and welcome to my latest video recipe. Now this ginger recipe can be classed as a pudding or a cake. In our work kitchens we serve this with custard but it's just as nice on its own with a cup of tea or coffee. You can view the ingredients list and full written method for this recipe on the recipe page on the channel's website. I'll leave a link in the description under the video or you can click on the eye icon top right of the screen to take you directly to the recipe page. And I'll be doing the Patreon and PayPal shout out a little later in the video. And with that out of the way, let's get on with today's recipe. The first job in this recipe is to grease and flour a two pound or 900 gram loaf tin. I'm using a little lard to do mine, but butter or shortening will be fine. The dimensions of the tin I'm using are on screen. Use a separate source of flour for the tin, don't take it out of the recipe. And the next job to do is to preheat your oven to 160 Celsius, that's 320 Fahrenheit or gas mark 3. Ok, I'll start the recipe by adding the 4 eggs to a large bowl. And the next ingredient to go in is the soft brown sugar, followed by the sunflower or vegetable oil. And the next ingredient to go in is the black treacle. It gives this cake a rich flavour and a slightly sticky texture. If you can't find that, you can use golden or maple syrup or molasses. Black strap molasses would be a good alternative for this recipe. And this is the brand of black treacle I'm using. And here's a good tip. If you slightly oil the little bowl what the treacle's sitting in, it won't stick as much. And before you add anything else, give that a good whisk for about a minute or until everything is amalgamated. You can of course use a hand or a stand mixer to make this recipe. Right, that's done. Now I can sift in the dry ingredients, starting with the flour. Now I'm using self-raising flour. Now if you can't find self-raising flour where you live, you can use plain or all-purpose flour. But if you do, make sure you add three teaspoons of baking powder in total. And if you are using self-raising flour, you just need to add one teaspoon of baking powder. And that's baking powder, not baking soda. Next into the sieve is the quarter teaspoon of salt. And the final dry ingredient is the two teaspoons of four grams of a good quality ground ginger. Right, now I'll sift those into the bowl. If there's any lumps of baking powder left in the sieve, just push them through with your fingers. Ok, once it's all through, get your whisk and give it a good mix for a further minute until you have a smooth, silky butter. Once the butter is nice and smooth, carefully pour the mixture into the prepared loaf tin using a spatula. Just make sure you get it all out. Ok, 
Okay, now how easy was that? Right, give the tin a couple of taps on the bench to raise any of the larger air bubbles. And now get it into the preheated oven and set your timer for 50 minutes. And a quick recap of the oven temperature. It's 160 Celsius, that's 320 Fahrenheit or gas mark 3. And while that's baking, I hope you don't mind if I give my very first recipe book a bit of a plug. The book has lots of our favourite recipes from our work kitchens in it and is available in the channel's website shop along with loads of other equipment I use in the videos. It's just another way you can support the channel. I'll leave a link in the description box below the video or just click on the eye icon top right of your screen if you want to order a copy today. OK, once the time's up, check that the cake's done by inserting a cocktail stick in the centre. If it comes out clean, it's done. If not, give it a further five minutes. Mine's done, so I'll carefully remove it from the oven and place the tin on a wire rack and leave it to cool for about 15 minutes. Once it's cooled enough to handle, it's safe to remove it from the tin. But as a precaution, run a thin bladed knife around the edge first as shown. OK, now tip it out under your hand and place it back on the wire rack until it's completely cooled. And then I'll come back in a few minutes and show you what it's like on the inside. Right, it's cool enough to have a look on the inside and as you can see it's moist, spongy and slightly sticky. It has a wonderful crumb and smells absolutely delicious. Like I said at the beginning, we like to serve this with custard, so if you want to have a go at making that, there's a great vanilla egg custard recipe already on the channel. Just click on the eye icon, top right of your screen, and that will take you directly to the video. Right, I've got a good helping of that custard on, and I'm ready to give it a try. And that is absolutely superb. The texture is spot on and the warm flavour of that ginger is coming through and it's absolutely delicious. And like I said earlier, this is wonderful just on its own too. I've always said sticky toffee pudding is my favourite but this is a very close second and gets a big thumbs up. And a little extra info, this is the best way to store it. The cling film keeps it nice and moist and there's no need to refrigerate. And as promised at the beginning, here is the latest list of my Patreon and PayPal donators. And they are Justin Newland, Christina Lorange, Bill Say, Kate Bartholomew, Tony Trott, Scott Hannan, Moira Wells, Kevin Warren, Gino Rosser, Andrew Newman, Gabrielle Armstrong, Mark Goodchild, Gary B. Treen, Elaine Sham, Daniel Reeves, Lionel Jellins, George Abater, Gail Wagner, Mika Stephen, Jen Wellman, Yusheng Lee, Sir Hai Shaiko, Andrew Peacock, Teresa Bokal, Vararat Nobvichai, David Whiteley, Sandra Oss, John Patterson, Dark Python, Irene Lando, Barbara Brown. And thanks again guys, I really do appreciate all your support. Well thank you again for watching, please like, share, comment and subscribe by hitting the circle above.
If you do subscribe, activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button on my channel page. And by doing that, you'll be automatically notified every time I upload a new video. And in the meantime, here's a few of my other videos and playlists that you may want to watch. So, until the next time, be safe in the kitchen and bye for now.